Hey, what's up guys? Flick here and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 16 West Ham Kerr Mode Save. First off, I want to thank you guys for the feedback that you left on the last episode. Tell me guys who your favorite teams are and tons of you said that your favorite team is Arsenal. And luckily enough, we're going to be playing them in today's episode. We're going to start by simulating this match in the group stage of the Champions Cup. This is the team that's the weak center group. I think we can easily get a win by simulating. Then, of course, we'll play this one against Arsenal. And as we get into December, we've got a match against Swansea at home. I'm going to be simulating that one, playing this one against Real Madrid, and playing this one against Newcastle United. Currently, we're sitting top of the Premier League, and we can easily advance in the group stage if we do get a couple of good results. So let's try to do that in this episode. With this match also being at home, there's no reason we can't get the win here against Poznan. We're just going to go ahead and skip a 3-0 win. Hesse picking up two goals and Ruben Neves picking up a goal. Magellan did pick up an injury though. We'll check that out, see if it's serious. And once again, not a serious injury. Magellan's out for three days. Here's our lineup for the game against the Gunners, and I have made a couple of modifications to the team, giving Antonio the start at our left striker position. Batshuayi was a little bit tired, and Antonio has succeeded in previous games that he's played at striker, so I figured let's give it a go. We're still showing some early dominance in the Premier League, seven points clear of Aston Villa. Still don't know how they're in the second place position, but Arsenal have been slacking on the transfers hardly any since the start of career mode. Joel Campbell's away right here. This is dangerous stuff by Arsenal. They haven't gotten much early on, they're going to cross this one in Wellington Silva. It's off the post and out of play. Arsenal already quite dangerous on the attack. And Wellington Silva, he's their striker up front. And we need to watch out for him. There we go. Good passing already. Antonio going to find Pyatt. Pyatt's looking for Oba. Can he get past the Arsenal defense? The finesse shot inside the box. Oh, it's a good save by David Ospina. Not sure where Petr Cech is. But regardless, good save by the Arsenal keeper. That was going in the back of the net. Dimitri Pai to send in the corner kick for us. Can we get on it? No, but it's going to fall to Mark Noble. Can he have a hit from outside the box? Again, a good effort. Ospina with the save. Wellington Silva, again, he's going to get an opportunity in this game. Is he going to cross it in? Yes, he is. Olivier Giroud. John Stones holding up strong in the back. Doesn't let the Frenchman get around him there. Not too many chances for either team in the first half. We got lucky for Arsenal to hit the post on a couple of occasions. But you can tell by the possession that we still have a good chance at winning this game if we can just get on the counterattack and use some of the pace to our advantage. Nah, this isn't good. Ariza Blaga, get up, come on. Get this one out of here. Again, Ariza Blaga, I'm so glad we have him in the back. Nah, no, don't, Ugh, not like that. It's Olivier Giroud. <sighs> Arsenal really, I don't think they deserve that goal. Some of their earlier chances were much better in that one. They get really lucky for that one to fall to Giroud in the first place. But hey, it's a goal. Play it through. It's Aubameyang. Can he finish this one on the near post? The finesse shot! Why would you use your left foot there? Here's Entep. Maybe we can score on the corner kick right here. Entep getting inside the box. Gets by a couple. Still on it. Entep! Oh, he just about did it. If he would have shot with his left foot that time, then we could have gotten the goal. We're going to make some attacking-minded changes, bringing in Hesse, Lanzini, and Marez to add a little bit more pace to the team. We're also going all out attack with about 15 minutes left. Let's get this one out of here first. Close them down. Close them down. That's game right there. Arsenal get a two-goal advantage. Aaron Ramsey, we know he's dangerous with his shot outside the box. There's no way a Riza Blog is going to get to that. We just have to close him down in the first place. How are we getting him that kind of space? This is decent. Hesse. That's a foul ref. Okay, penalty kick with about six minutes left. This game's not done. Come on, Oba. I need you to step up for me here. Off to the left. Put it away where Ospina can't save it. There we go. Top net. Let's go. Look at this crap. There's no way we're going to get back in the game. Farcel is just going to keep holding in the back like this. It's impossible to get the ball off him. There's the full-time whistle. Arsenal probably deserved the win there. They had a good second half, and they played well defensively, holding the ball at the quarter flag. But regardless, we dropped some points there. That's not good for us, but I think we still got the lead in the Premier League. With it being a new month, we'll get into the squad report. Ariza Balaga up plus three and almost that 86 rating. And our free agent keeper is declining in his value, but luckily we haven't had to start him yet, so I'm not too worried about that. John Stones and Riedewald are on equal overall now, so I'm going to switch up the training a bit, give Stones some more training, and that way Stones will be able to grow, as well as Riedewald, and we can have a very strong defense. Ruben Neves just about to that 80 overall rating, one of the few players that haven't hit the 80 rating, uh, at least in terms of our positions. 
We're going to continue on now. Mark Noble is starting to decrease in his overall, which is unfortunate to see, but you know, I've expressed my situation with Mark Noble, and I'm not too worried about him declining. Uh, but Obama Young has gone up plus one, now to an 86 rating. Exciting stuff there. And Bachuai still yet to grow. Zarate down plus one, Triari up plus one. Couple of changes to the lineup for the next game against Swansea. I want to make sure that our team is fully rested for our midweek fixture against Real Madrid. I really want to pick up a win against them. And it's a home match. Lanzini starting things off for us in the eighth minute. We're just going to go ahead and skip. We get the three to one win. Aubameyang comes off the bench and nets himself another goal. I think he's going to run away with the top goal score this year. So I just got a message from Riedewald saying he wants an increase in his wages. You can see he's currently on nine grand a week and he wants 60 grand a week. That's a huge bump, but because he's such a crucial part of our defense, I'm going to oblige to his request. Our next match will be against Real Madrid, our final game in the group stages of the Champions Cup, and our team is well rested. Let's get into the game and hopefully beat Real Madrid. For those of you that watched our previous game against Real Madrid, you'll know that they are a pretty sweaty opponent. Both of us will be advancing out of our group. Leon is completely out of the mix, and this is the lineup we're going to have to face up against. Gareth Bale with the ball on the outside. He's going to whip it in. And John Stones with an acrobatic clearance. I thought that was going in on target, but luckily we clear that out for a corner kick. Luka Modric plays it off. Carvajal back to Modric. What a pass to Sergio Ramos. This is not good. Gareth Bale is going to finish it on the near post. Real Madrid's passing is immaculate, and Modric set that all up. Can't discredit Real Madrid for that one. It's a good goal. Look at him go on the counterattack. It is just a sight to see. Now Cristiano going to get inside the box. What's he going to do with it? Wow. How does Gabriel Jesus miss that one? I was just about to say and complain about Real Madrid being sweaty. But what a miss right in front of goal. Sloppy first half from us. The game should honestly be 2-0 at this point. We're going to have to find a way to get by Real's defense because they have stopped us on every single opportunity. I'll play that through. This is a good chance. Finally, we're through on goal here. Bachuay cuts inside. Someone needs to continue the run. They're over committing and no one is making the run for us. Play wide. Okay, this is good. Entep, do something with it. Heal the heel flick. Gets by one. Have a shot. Okay, Entep, you just saved us. I was questioning that shot. I thought there was a bit too much hesitation on it. But the keeper is not going to stop that one. Entep has scored a number of goals of that similar nature in the past. He does it again for us there. 1-1. One, one. Can you do it again? Lanzini. Cuts in. Have a shot. Come on, Neves. Ruben Neves gets the goal in the 90th minute. I have been waiting for him to score that kind of long shot. And there it is. What a goal. Oh, best look at it right here. Modric tried to get a block in. Keeper almost got his hand to it. But Neves, you hero. What a win for us. And that means we're going to finish on top of our group, which can be crucial for us as we get to the later rounds of the Champions Cup. Guys, my heart is honestly still racing after that last match, but we need to move on. We're going to end off the episode with this game against Newcastle United, and especially after dropping points against Arsenal, we need to get a win here. This is the lineup. Let's get into it. Despite dropping points earlier in the episode against Arsenal, we're still seven points clear of Aston Villa, so we're in very good shape for the Premier League. And this is the lineup for Newcastle. A couple of good players mixed in there, and Mike Williamson. Oh, come on, Wijnaldum. How do you score from there? You know, I thought I had this pretty well defended. Wijnaldum wasn't even facing the goal as far as I could see. Uh, no, he just one-times it right into the back of the net. Typical stuff. Bacuari. Playing that through ball. Oh, that's beautiful stuff. Marez just finished on the near post. There it is. One to one. Nice through ball by Bacuari and Marez with a clinical finish with that power shot. Let's go. Let's beat Newcastle. Anita on the ball. He's going to swing it in. Ariza Balaga, you gotta cover your near post there. I get you're trying to come out for the ball, but he left his near post wide open. It's another goal for Newcastle that probably isn't deserved. We're gonna have to find a way to come back in the second half. If we take a look at the stats, Newcastle has been very clinical with their shots, the shots on target ratio. We just need to get on the counterattack and exploit their fairly slow defenders. But gonna play it out wide to Marez. Come on now. Marez has got one. They're not defending the middle. Played in the middle. Oh, why didn't you just play to Obama Yang? He was open. Here we go. This is decent. Oba. He's too quick for him. Just the finesse shot. There it is. Two to two. 
Obama Young literally sprinted by their entire defense. He probably could have played a pass there at some point. For example, right there to Pyatt. But we knew we were quicker than the Newcastle defenders. Nice finish by him. Another goal for Obama Young. 12 seconds later. Uh-oh. They're doing it again. <laughs> They're doing it again. I'll play this one through, though. It's got to be Pyatt. There it is. 3-2, to two, just like that. We're just becoming pace relying players that made no sense we're just relying on pace that's what i'm trying to say obama Young is just exploiting that factor right now free kick chance here for newcastle and these are the kind of goals that they end up scoring javier hernandez coming in for perez oh my goodness that just went off the post i was telling you guys that's the kind of goals they score and it just about happened Newcastle just about got back into that game, but we were still able to hold him off. Finally turning up in the second half, and Obama Young really using that speed to his advantage. But guys, that's going to bring an end to the episode for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like down below, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And until next time, this has been Flick. I'll be talking to you guys again soon. Seattle, baby.